Hey everyone, today we're going to check out Audix Angel Strings Volume 2, uh, which is the second part in the Angel Strings series. Of course, we had uh, Simeon covering Angel Strings Volume 1 um, last year, and you guys seem to really like that video, and it's a really great library. Now when we're going to move on to Volume 2, which is Flurries, and this is a totally different concept. Um, it's similar to in the first Angel Strings in that it has these textures and kind of rhythmic movement, but Flurries is a bunch of string players playing uh, within a chord and creating movement. And so I'll give you an example here on the first preset uh, category here. There's different scales, different chords you can choose from here in the GUI, and they're laid all across your keyboard uh, within a two octave range. So I'll show you real quick. So C0 plays that figure. Then you go up an octave, it will play that same figure the octave above. So you have a nice range there. Then moving up an octave, it moves on to a new figure. And again, two octave range there. Up another octave onto the final figure in this uh, chord, the scale. So keep that in mind, they're mapped across the keyboard. Um, so with each scale that you choose here in the GUI, you have three different figures that can be played mapped across the keyboard. Now I'm going to go through each of these five scales here, or ways of playing, and we're going to check out everything right now.
So Angel Strings Flurries is a lot different from the first version, but it adds this kind of, you know, swarming sound of uh, the flurries sound. It's very, very unique, and it's really, really good for adding movement or just using as a bed um, for creating tension or liveliness and then creating your own melodies um, with short strings or long strings on top of that. I have personally used this library in quite a few of my compositions, and it gives you a sound that you really can't get um, with standard sample libraries because it has to be captured in the plane um, when you capture the samples themselves and not many libraries really uh, capture their players doing stuff like this so it's a very useful library uh, to put my money where my mouth is i will show you two tracks uh, where i have specifically used this sample library to great effect So that is a track I made one year ago, just to kind of put my money where my mouth is. I use this library a lot, and you hear it adds that kind of rhythmic movement in the intro of this piece that is really, really something special, and you cannot replicate that with, uh, you know, standard string libraries. And then is this piece here, which was used for an animation uh, for a client, um, specifically right around this section here, you will begin to hear, again, me using the angel strings flurries and creating the texture and a sort of, uh, sort of swarming sound that you really can't get with regular string libraries. So we can actually go back into my Studio One and look at the exact um, preset that I was using for that. I know exactly which one it is. It's right here and it was right there. So I was using that exact same preset in that song I just played. And then I added the brass and everything on top of it and made a really nice, uh, you know, feeling of tension and kind of movement again that you would never be able to get just with standard string libraries so uh just wanted to show a couple examples of using this in real world track uh real world tracks that i've been paid for and have been used in projects so thanks for checking this one out with me guys definitely a really nice library angel strings volume 2 flurries i'll see you guys next time thanks